hello and welcome to the first episode of our To The Moon playthrough. This is going to be a slightly different game from what we normally have on the channel. Normally, we have Pokemon, let's be honest. It's, it's a lot of Pokemon on this channel, but this is hopefully going to be a new break into some new games, and I am hoping that this is going to be an absolutely amazing experience for everyone, because this game is incredibly well rated. From what I can tell, 10 out of 10 by a lot of things. Okay, and that is not an easy thing to accomplish, so... One thing I will quickly start off with is I am a little bit of a completionist when it comes to these games, so I might take my time a little bit in some places. Forgive me for that. I do want to check out everything though. Audio so far, amazing. Visuals so far, I've only seen an intro, I can't really tell. But from what I can tell, I'm going to want to be exploring this, so let's get this going. Let's go and click begin. This is a point and click game for the most part, so you get my mouse on the screen. I know, for the once in my life, I actually need my mouse on the screen, which is crazy to me. I'm not used to it. But this is a game in RPG Maker, which, if you don't know, is a software you can use to make games yourself. It gives you a lot of background sprites, um, a couple of like text lines, text bubbles and stuff. Uh, some some base things that you will need to make your own game. I don't know exactly how many people were involved in this game or any details like that. I really don't know many details. I just know incredible story, made an RPG maker, and I'm excited to play it. Uh, we can even see this is like a little bit of an intro cutscene. Look at this girl on the piano go. This is a nice house. Where can I get myself one of these really cheap? Oh, some, something shook. Oh no. I don't know anything about the story, by the way. I really did try and keep it as fresh as possible. That's a car crash. So that's a terrible start. Did he jump the door? Impressive. Where are you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Oh, the squirrel? Hey, squirrel. Is this... Please tell me I play as the squirrel, please. Okay, I've rated 10 out of 10 for that. I don't think I play as the squirrel. I really don't know anything about this game. I'm going in blind because it's more fun. You ran over it anyways. Oh. We're not- we're not playing as the squirrel. Um. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Yeah, why is there a convenient gap in- in this- in this, um, in this barrier? Uh, it's a very convenient gap. How did we end up like this? How did- how did we hit this tree like this? I'm gonna ignore that. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Ah, yes, he gets it. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Yeah. Hmm, well, just say I was saving a puppy. <laughs> he likes puppies, right? It would, if I was the boss, it'd work on me. He's more of a cat person. Uh, kittens, then. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Uh, okay, left click on an object, interact with it. Um, so if we click on the front, do we get anything happening? No? Alright, we received the equipment from the back though, that's, that's, that's a good start. Got the sucker, let's roll. Right click to toggle menu or cancel. Alright, well I guess we'll check it out. Um, we can see the characters that we have in our pie. This is RPG Maker, that means therefore pies and stuff. We have Dr. Neil Watts, technician specialist. Sounds fun. Kind of looks like a sink to me. I don't know why. I know, right? Good good first impressions. And Dr. Eva Rosaline, Senior Memory Traversal Agent. That sounds incredibly complex. Notes, we don't have any. Items, we have equipment. Nice and standard. We don't need to save yet. We don't need to worry about any of that. And then we just right click again to get out of this. Okay, good. So we're going to be pointing and clicking to move around a lot. Um, I don't really point and click very often, but I guess we'll go up this way. The sign to the house points to the other way. Oh. How kind of it to exist. Oh. Oh. Well. Okay. Putting up a sign when they ask when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. I mean, they could just be genuinely nice people, but yeah, probably. Hey wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Oh. We're actually... Okay, I don't think anyone's gonna really want to steal that, but sure. How thoughtful of you. I don't think that'd be something I'd- can we- can we take this bird with us? Are you a party member, bird? Can I take you with me? I can't take the bird with me. Okay, well, good to know. So... In a lot of games, you will have key items related to puzzles and stuff like that. 
that will be really useful to come back to later. So I don't want to miss anything. I am making sure to check all like the ends of these pathways to make sure we don't miss anything. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. It's not doing very well. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. For this fluff? We don't. I feel like that's gonna say something else. All right, self-centering game. I like it. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Oh, 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 we get options. Oh, uh, we can either push it by hand, like the absolute muscleman that I definitely am not, so screw that. We could find a branch and try and lever the boulder out of the way. Seems reasonable. Or we could abort the mission and go home. Well, I mean, our car's destroyed. I don't think we're going home. So, I mean, I, I guess we'll go with the sensible option to start off with. We'll go with the branch. A branch will do. Can I just, like, hit the tree? Can I? No? I can't? Oh, there's a branch there. Right. Got ya. Need to use my eyes. Okay. Received tree branch. Sure. Alright, let's go and just smack the rock then, I guess. Why not? Alright. This better work. Did the rock just deflate? What kind of crazy things are happening in this world? <laughs> um, Alright, what was that? I... I don't even... <laughs> Pro processing. <laughs> Mind is processing what happened. It's some kind of an air ball. What? Uh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. Okay, ignoring the air ball. Can we walk behind this? We can. What? Are they Are they more squirrels? Please tell me you get to be a squirrel at some point, okay? I want to be a squirrel at some point. So I guess we'll just keep heading up towards this house for now. Very, very weird point and click action. I do feel like it would probably be a little bit smoother with arrow keys. Oh, I can actually use arrow keys. Well, but I can't use WASD. What is this torture you are giving me? I can use the arrow keys, but not WASD. Either way, I'm progressing in this game. I now know I can use the arrow keys. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll walk inside. Sure. We've knocked on the door. There was two kids playing in here on the piano in the cutscene. Yeah, here they are. Okay. So does that mean you're, you're our new friends? Ma, they're here. Wait, that's not a kid. <laughs> Welp! <laughs> Welp! The more you know. Okay, then. So it's a kid and her mother. Well, that seems kind of nice. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? Nice by the ocean. There's a lighthouse there. The place is freaking huge. I could do better. Really? Alright. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. Love them. Love them. Definitely love them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It is nighttime right now, so they are probably on the night shift right now, actually. It's probably going to be another all night, you know. I know. What exactly is our job? And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> nice and to the point. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Well, <laughs> for your blathering, you won't. All right. We're just, we're just having a nice time chatting, waiting to get inside. Don't forget the equipment, moron. I feel like I relate to this guy. Um, yeah. I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah, yeah I do. Okay. The reason he looked like a sink to me was because he was carrying the briefcase. <laughs> just to, just to avoid any confusion. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Wait, what? You always thought they were lighthouses? What do you mean you thought they were lighthouses? Where did the sound go? Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume? There it went, okay. The sound in this game is nice, actually. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Oh. Oh, I see our job description now, okay. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I am just his caretaker. Oh! And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy's. There was two kids. Okay, I did think so. Good, okay. It's not exactly a nine to five job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. 
No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. I feel like this is gonna get real dark, but I could be very wrong. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll see you with the insurance claim. Uh, yeah, sure. Received equipment. And we'll walk this upstairs, and we should be fine. I don't think there's too much exploring to do right now, so I can't really, like, look around like I really want to. So, we'll see. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Or, 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 we could not drop it. How about that? Go upstairs. Uh, it is saying that, as in, like, hey, are you sure you want to go upstairs, or do you want to go and explore those other rooms, like, maybe where that kid went? For the time being, we'll go upstairs, okay? I'm sure this is an area we will come back to. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. What melody? Do these, are these kids just playing the piano? Oh, hell yeah. No fair, you pushed me. I didn't see any pushing. Alright. Alright, I think someone's a little liar. Alright. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. If you're playing together anyway, then does it matter? Okay, right. You know what? Sure. Oh. We have more of like an intro. I like the balancing of the intro right here. I don't like it when they just chuck a load of credits at you at the beginning or the end. Having it periodically, nice touch, okay? Bonus points for that. I feel like I'm criti critiquing this game. In reality, I'm just playing it. Don't ignore anything I say. I am not a game critic <laughs> in the slightest. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Are we meant to walk through this wall or is there an invisible door I can't see? Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Oh. Yeah, yeah, come on. Invisible door, okay, good to know. Okay, well this looks like it's about to get dark, right? Let's see. Let's see how dark this gets. Ready to set up? Uh, they're giving me a lot of options of looking around. So I'm gonna look around. I'm I'm gonna go through here. We're gonna we're gonna start exploring off. Okay, we're we're off. We're off on an exploration right now. Let's see what we can find. A toilet. This is this is what we find. We find a toilet. Wait, what's this? Oh, we can turn some lights on. And look at a toilet. Well I feel like I've done something really successful in my time. Um it turns on both. Good to know. Alright. Well, I don't think we really need to do that. Let's just... Let's speak to you first. And then we'll set the machine down. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I've just remembered something. What was your... What was, senior memory traversal agent. I think I see what we're about to go and do. Ready to up? Yes. We have a machine. He's conscious. Are we gonna go and, like, fix, like, his brain? Oh, this is gonna get weird quickly. Yes, it'll be just a moment. This is gonna get weird quick, okay? I am ready for this. This is my kind of game right here. Alright, what is about to happen? Oh, god. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No worries. We're the experts. I don't trust you. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, this seems... This seems great. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. I don't trust him. I don't... I don't trust these people at all. Oh, this is gonna get weird. Are you gonna lay down there? Is that... Is that a mat to lay on? No? How's he doing? Didn't we just go through this? Oh, well, I guess we didn't get that news, all right. Not so well. If I were to say, he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> so you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. Oh, we're gonna grant his wishes? With Jirajis? Hell yeah. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. I like his mentality right there. So, what's the wish? The moon. Huh. The moon? Huh. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. That's a... Uh, okay. 
The geezer just keeps on getting crazy, uh huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. This guy is positive, I'll give him that. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Uh, well, first of all, he's crazy, uh, so bonus points. Johnny's an old man. Through the, the, through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. Oh. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. <laughs> Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you might, might find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, so we can look around and get some information. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Me. Me, 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 me. Which one's gonna be me? Oh, wait, which one do I get to play a control? Well, Dr. Watts seems more fun, and Dr. Rosaline seems more, like, uptight, so Dr. Watts, let's go. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. See, this is what I'm on about. It seems much more fun. I remember you playing Watson. Meh, same thing. Honestly, sure. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Alright. Alright. Alright, sure. Uh, I do want to have a look around, so I like this. Uh, first of all, what is this I see in the bottom right corner? Is this anything crazy? No? We can check out the pictures by the look of it. Alright. A casual painting of three people. Okay. I'll try and remember three people. A painting of an animal of some sort. Is that a duck? I don't know what that is. I can't tell. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Well, that's where we are. That's our house. Yellow and blue, weird animal, free people. We'll see how well I remember any of that. Probably not very well, but we'll see. Um, other than that, I don't really mind if I hear... Wait, come back here for a moment. Wait, what? I want to go and play with your kids. Hello? That sounds bad. Hmm. I have something for you. You have something for me? What? You're gonna give me, like, something weird? Tommy and Sarah can take you around the house if you need any assistance. That's what I want! I want to go and get them, but no. Here, take this. Received the remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Oh no! Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Oh. Oh, okay. This just got real dark, <laughs> in my opinion. I feel like this is where we should save first, because I feel like this is now at a point where we can mess things up. So, therefore, it's time for me to save. Basically, that's what that means. Uh, either way, let's go head down to the piano and see what these two kids are up to. What you want? Uh, show me around the house, slaves. Hey, your mom told me to show you around the house. Show me around the house. I'm not going to show you around the house. This is your house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Convincing. Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want... One trillion dollars! <laughs> or the candy cane mom hides for it. That, that one. That one. That one. We'll, we'll go We'll go with candy. Okay? They want candy. Sure. Uh, what? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour of the house. These kids are in some dealership. I like it. What do you say? Well... Uh, hell yeah, I'm on the kid's side here. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I'd just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Uh, hell yes? It almost seems like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is, okay? That's exactly what it is. I keep wanting to use the point and click more than the arrow key, I don't know. There's that candy cane. So I can just straight up reach it. Or I can't. Do I need to move a chair? Or move this? 
Yeah, I just moved that, okay. I better get that stupid candy cane for them while I'm here. Better get... Well, well, grab it then. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't realize I had to actually move him onto the spot. I thought I could just click and he would move along with it, but I guess not. Move him into the spot, then click the item. Got it. Receive the candy cane. Alright. That seems simple enough. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. Or a shelf. It's like taking candy from a shelf, I guess. Um, but either way, yep, nice and simple. Uh, let's speak to these two again, and let's see if they want to give me that tour. Or if they want to, you know, trick me into more deals. Alright, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. Against a lot of odds? Really, dude. Really, were you? It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. <laughs> um, I guess. <laughs> it's one approach. Alright, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. Funny room? Oh no. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? Sex dungeon. Um, <laughs> it's weird. Sex dungeon. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in study. Uh, is the study over here? Oh, I ha- Hold on, is this my party right now? Tommy doesn't like turtles. Tommy, I hate you, get out of my sight. Sarah, aspiring professional ice cream taster. Aiming for the top. Sarah, I like you. I like Sarah, I don't like Tommy. Anyone that doesn't like turtles, just, just, no. What are you doing? This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book <laughs> on the upper shelf. Why? Why wouldn't you have moved the key if you knew where it was? Like, what? The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, the key to avoiding paper cuts. Sure. No, I ain't reading all that. Read more, yes, but I'm not actually gonna read it. I just wanna know if it's gonna lead to anything. No, okay, good to know. All right. Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. What did I just read? Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll read. Uh, maybe next time. <laughs> okay, right, we don't get to read that. That's That upsets me a little bit. Receive the room key. The man sure knows where to hide things. I mean, yeah, I'll give him that. He does, for what it's worth. Uh, I guess we'll just leave and the kids will follow. Okay, good. We can open the funny room in the basement now. All right, we'll go to the basement and go in this funny room that I'm really dreading. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. All right. Well, that's that's where the key's gonna go, obviously. So let's quickly. No, no, don't don't do that. Come on, I want to explore. We've got to explore everything we possibly can. See if there's anything down this way. Uh, we have lights. Doesn't look like we can do anything with that. What is this? The chest is locked. All right, we have a locked chest. Something to come back to. That's good. It's good to have those. Cabinet is filled with dusty books. Alright. Alright, okay. Nothing in the cabinet. Uh, doesn't look like we can do anything with the pictures. I guess we will go to this door. And we'll see what happens. The door is locked. Open the door with the room key. As you do. Alright. Let's go in the weird room and see what we're about to find. It's like a cave in here. I don't... I don't like where this music is going. I don't, I don't do the whole scary vibe thing. I don't really react to it. A stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. How dare you? How dare you offend the platypus? Do we want to poke it or take it? Uh, uh, judging by this music, um, sounds like I should get out of here immediately. So poke it, cause screw it. <laughs> we just knock it over? Stuff flow platypus. Sit it up, take it. Sit it up again. Stuff- Okay, fine. We're gonna take it. I get it, okay? Receive the toy platypus. Can I not do anything else in here? A broken music box. Alright. Weird room. Weird room is weird confirmed, but sure. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. What? 
There are more of them, actually. Where? <laughs> Seriously, where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Want to go see? I got the keys. Why do you have the keys to these things? Okay. Let me guess. You aren't supposed to go in there either. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hee hee hee. Okay. I don't know why. You just feel like I should read it like that. Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you two. Do they have the key to that chest over there? So you want to go see the lighthouse? Sure. Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Decision? Uh, hell yeah, I want to go see the lighthouse. Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butts. Alright. Um... I feel like this is giving me a very, very slight horror game type vibe. But I really hope it doesn't turn out like that. We'll see. Let's let's first of all go to this lighthouse, okay? So we want to go beneath the lighthouse? How do we get beneath the lighthouse? There it is. It looks like we can go on a layer below. We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, you know, parachutes aren't cheap. This is fine. I'd rather do the walking than buy a parachute any day. Uh, I feel like the music is slightly less cheerful than the first time I walked through here. Might just be me. Maybe we should check that heartbeat monitor. Is that still the same? That is still exactly the same. Okay, that's fine. Just feel like that's something I should be checking every now and again, just in case. Uh, so let's head this way. Oh no! Was that your freaking rock? My novelty beach ball? Someone broke it! Your beach ball? Okay. Oh. It was stupid anyway. <laughs> she, she ain't wrong. But... But it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had. Maybe that'll teach you to like turtles. Yeah, how about that, Tommy? Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, uh, don't worry. Dr. Rosalind will buy you another. No, don't do it. She will? Oh yeah, sure. Just ask her afterwards. We kind of need to get going now, though. Alright, okay. Definitely giving me a creepy vibe. Definitely getting a creepy vibe. But, uh, okay, we want to go all the way down here, and we want to take the other pathway. It's smoking! Who's to dummy to crash the car? That was, uh, Dr. Rosaline. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosaline. Ah, oh, Dr. Rosaline. You, you silly driver. Oh, definitely not me. <laughs> what is sleeping inside the log? Wait, is the squirrel sleeping? Hello? Oh, a squirrel! Please, let me play as the squirrel. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god, are we battling the squirrel? Hell yes. Don't worry, kids. I got this. Get behind me, kids. I'm the tank of this party. Why Why do I have damage taken? Uh, we can either attack or defend. Attack. We can go with... <laughs> I saw... I saw some two, two normal responses for an RPG, and then two very different responses. Do we want a tsunami kick? Tornado punch? Shoe or other shoe? I f Why do I feel like other shoe is the right answer? Um, what happens if I click? You know what? Uh, let's just other shoe. I want to see what happens. Yelling volume. We're going to throw the shoe at it and scream. <laughs> we're, we're going all the way. <laughs> we're going all the way. This ends here. Yeah. Stop it. Or we'll tell Ma you animal abuse. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. Oh, come on. I wasn't actually gonna. Don't you like role-playing? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I love it, personally. I personally love it. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. This guy has some like. Oh, wait. What is going on with that bird? Hello? Bird, join my party. Join join my raid group. Bird? No? No? You just chirp. Maybe we can come back and do something with the bird. I don't know. Uh, I kind of hope so. Uh, either way, we want to head up here. We want to go to this lighthouse, though. And we'll see what's in the lighthouse. Maybe something great. Oh, we have a lovely cutscene happening that I can ruin by, like, spasming a, a mouse on it. That's beautiful. 
This looks very different from above than it does from here. I like this view a lot more. It looks a lot bigger from down here. Uh, but I guess we'll just go straight in. What is this? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. I mean, there's a, there's a grave, you know, I can be kind of curious about a grave, kids. Come on now. Either way, you have the keys, right? Get me in there. Oh, this looks... This looks like it's gonna get weird real quick. Okay, well that's great. Oh, I'm not even controlling this. Got it, okay. Well, hands free! <laughs> oh no. This is it. I'm a little bit weirded out and a little bit happy about this. Seems like this thing hasn't been functioning for quite a while now. What is over here? Oh, we can walk on the rabbits. A multicolored paper rabbit. I, I want to try making one of those now, okay? I've done some origami in the past. I want to try making one of those. <laughs> hey, this isn't where we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these though? I kind of like them. Yeah, you are. Yep. <laughs> okay. okay. What the? Someone's calling me. Ugh, I should have guessed. Dr. Rosalane? Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Dr. Rosalind. All right, let's head back. As for this. Received paper rabbit. Key item acquired. I like it. Okay. Please teleport me back. Hell yes, bonus points for that. Cut out all that needless walking I don't need to do. What the cactus were you doing? What the, what the cactus? Well, I'm using that in the future, okay. Burning ants with a magnifying glass. <laughs> Good response. Using moonlight. Okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smart ass nowadays. <laughs> You're pretty good at being half of it. Oh, this is, these are like a comedy duo and I truly like it. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on, we're going in. Well, I think just before we go and do anything crazy with this whole going in stuff, this is a nice place to round up this episode. So, we're gonna go ahead we're going to create a lovely save. I guess we can save over that. I don't think there's anything crazy that's happened. And I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed the first episode of To The Moon, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!